Hi there and welcome to uh, a quick car cleaning guru video where I'll be ritually sacrificing one of the 17 inch Arcadia wheels on my own V40 to show what can happen when you accidentally let a corrosive wheel cleaner dry on the surface so without further ado let the uh, educational Volvo vandalism commence. So the reason I was happy to vandalise one of my own V40 wheels is that having clearly been neglected most of their life, they were already a bit of an eyesore. Over a decade's worth of unsightly scuffs, scratches and chips meant I really had nothing to lose. Plus spoiling the finish even further might actually force me into finally getting them refurbished to bring them up to par with the fresh rubber, discs and pads that have recently been fitted. Also, I doubt anyone else would be prepared to hand over the keys to their car knowing I was intending to ruin the wheels, so step up the old V40 and its appropriately abused rims. This highly scientific test was to be conducted using AutoSmart Smart Wheels, a powerful alkali cleaner which contains the caustic chemical sodium hydroxide. It's a great product that I use in both neat and diluted form on a regular basis, however, as you can see from the warnings on the container, it can potentially inflict some serious damage given the right or, would that be wrong, circumstances, just like the ones I'd set up here. It was to be administered through a colour-coded Quasar Mercury Pro double action trigger, a top-end sprayer which for me personally the jury is still out on. So, with the sun fast approaching its highest point in the sky then, the Smart Wheels product was liberally applied to the dry face of the wheel before being left to soak into and ultimately bake onto it. I had performed a basic wash prior to filming as I wanted to potentially inflict as much harm as possible and any dirt left on the surface could serve as a protective barrier soaking up some of the corrosive product. So it was a case of clean, dry, warm wheels plus neat application for maximum damaging effect. Around an hour later, and with the sun still radiating the face of the wheel, I returned to unsurprisingly find this unsightly mess. Now, while any self-respecting petrol head would quite rightly cringe at a sight like this, I actually had the time to take it in here and carefully scrutinise the unholy mess the sodium hydroxide cleaner had created. You'll see this kind of thing inflicting vehicles that frequently visit hand car washes where strong chemicals are applied as it sits in a queue waiting to be rinsed off, and whether your car is a week or a decade old it's never a good look. There's a few ways you can attempt to fix this and by far the easiest, believe it or not, is to simply reapply the product and re-clean the wheel without letting it dry. This is because occasionally what appears to be permanent staining is in fact just an excess of stubborn product residue and reactivating it with the same cleaner can sometimes be enough to take it off. Once I'd completed a re-clean and began to dry the face of the wheel off, I realised this was actually the case here, and despite my best efforts to ruin it for your viewing pleasure, the 14 year old neglected thing hadn't suffered any significant damage whatsoever. Now, I did consider just binning the video at this point as the whole theme centred around inflicting some serious damage, something I'd clearly failed miserably at achieving, but then I figured I'd gone to the effort of pre-cleaning the car, filming the process and recording a cringeworthy intro in front of the nosy neighbours, so decided to plough on and put something out rather than nothing. So, while admittedly it doesn't truly show what can happen when you let a strong wheel cleaner dry, and so might be a bit of an anti-climax in that respect, 
it's still hopefully enough to give you a quick fix until the next proper video is ready. One thing you can be certain of is Sod's law will ensure that next time I'm carefully cleaning somebody else's expensive wheels off camera with a diluted mix of this product in the shade it will without doubt stain the finish. If, unlike my indestructible wheels, you're dealing with ones that do remain stained after being re-cleaned then it's not just residue and you'll have to roll up your sleeves and grab the elbow grease. I'd personally reach for a paintwork cleanser or all in one polish first to see if the cleaners and light abrasives those kind of products contain would lift off the staining, before stepping up to a proper polish ideally worked in with a spot pad on an appropriate machine if required. If that doesn't work however, then short of wet sanding and compounding, which can be nigh on impossible to perform on a complicated wheel design, then it would need to be repainted, so pick your products carefully, as believe me, not all wheels are as resilient as the ones on this old Volvo. And that's really all I can offer in terms of advice in this short video. If I had managed to successfully stain the wheel then I could have gone into a bit more detail but there's really not much point me prattling on when despite its dry roasting in sodium hydroxide it looked exactly the same as it did to begin with. I guess the moral of this story is not to let strong corrosive cleaners dry on the surface of your wheels unless they happen to be really old and really Swedish. So yeah, until next time then, it's uh, over and out from me.